Legends have existed for centuries in India that speak of a great bridge built by the Hindu god Rama at a distant point in the past. The bridge was built to retrieve his wife from the evil king Ravana, who ruled over Sri Lanka. While many modern historians first assumed this was nothing more than a fable, do we now have enough evidence to suggest that a Hindu god built this bridge? And could it be over 1 million years old? In this video, we'll explore the unusual structure now known as Ramasattu and get to the bottom of its mysterious past. On the southeastern coast of Tamil Nadu, India, lies a 32-mile-long chain of limestone shoals that stretch across to the northwestern coast of Sri Lanka. The structure is referred to as Rama's Bridge or Rama Satu. While today most of the so-called bridge lies underwater, there is evidence to suggest that this was constructed by the Hindu hero Rama over a million years ago. For Hindus, their legend states this ancient causeway was constructed by Rama to reach Sri Lanka to retrieve his wife from the evil king Ravana. The Myth Behind the Structure The ancient Indian epic, the Ramayana, tells the story of the great king known as Rama, who was the king of the ancient city of Kosala. In the epic, it is said that Rama and his wife Sita had retreated to the forest to live a life of peace. However, not long after his Sita was kidnapped by Ravana, the malicious king of Sri Lanka, in order to save his wife Rama, would have to cross the dangerous and turbulent sea that separates India from Sri Lanka, yet he struggled to do so. Thus, he enlisted the help of a group of mysterious monkeys known as the Varana to build a bridge that ran from Pamban Island in Tamal Nadu to Manor Island in Sri Lanka, a total distance of around 50 kilometers. The legend goes on to state that with the help of the Varana, the bridge was built within just five days and this allowed Rama to proceed across the sea and into Sri Lanka to rescue his wife. This legend has led to the belief by Hindus that the Rama Setu is not a natural formation, but a structure created by one of their deities. But the bridge is not only revered by the Hindus of India, but also by the Islamic communities too. We have their own legends about the Shal formation. Islamic traditions say the bridge was created by Adam, the first man in Hebraic traditions. He was banished to this part of the world following his removal from the Garden of Eden. In order to escape the island of Sri Lanka and to find his wife Eve, Adam went on to construct a massive bridge to cross over into mainland Asia. The Ramasattu was mentioned on numerous occasions during the medieval period. Even Kordanamba, an Islamic scholar writing in 850 CE, referred to a bridge in the area at Set Bandia and Bridge of the Sea. The more famous name, Adam's Bridge, was first recorded in 1030 CE by the Iranian scholar Al-Biruni. Could this legend bear a hint of truth that the bridge was built by a group of semi-divine beings who once lived in modern India? Archaeological Evidence of the Bridge Today much of the bridge made up of large sandbanks and shells lies about four feet underwater. But there is enough evidence to suggest that a little as 500 years ago, the bridge could have been used to travel from India to Sri Lanka before it was overcome by storms in 1480. For centuries, it was thought by many outside of the Hindu and Islamic faith that the legend of Rama was nothing more than a story and the bridge itself nothing more than a work of nature. Agencies who have looked into the data surrounding the bridge, such as NASA, still to this day suggest that the bridge is nothing more than a natural occurring chain of sandbags. Yet much of India's Hindu community, as well as the Muslim populations in the area, believe that the bridge was in fact artificially constructed by their religious figures thousands of years ago. So could the bridge really have been constructed by some kind of advanced culture 
that once thrived in India? Or are we simply looking at a remarkable feat of nature? A million-year-old structure? As we begin to look closely at the bridge and its mysterious creation, it's clear that we are dealing with some form of unknown technology that may have, in fact, been constructed by Rama with the help of his army, Varana. One verse from the Ramayana reads as follows. That colossal bridge, which was a broad, well-constructed, glorious, well-pastured, and held together firmly, looked beautiful like a separating straight line in the ocean. The highly terrific sound of the ocean was covered up by the great sounds of the terrific monkeys who were crossing the sea. The ancient Indians were renowned for various parts of their culture, including their advancements in writing and the calendrical system that was able to record events over a vast period of time. Can we take the writings as proof of an ancient civilization that once thrived in India millions of years ago? Is there any further evidence to suggest that the Hindu records speak of in the Ramana? That the bridge itself was constructed over one million years ago during a period of time known as the Treta Yuga? Various small investigations were carried out by scientific teams during the 80s and 90s and they concluded that the bridge may have served as a land connection between India and Manor Island of Sri Lanka for at least 100,000 years. However, a geologist Dr. Bahidrianainen was enlisted to study the bridge back in the early 2000s and found some compelling evidence that both shocked and excited the geological world. Dr. Bardrianirnan and his team began to work on the Rama Setu by drilling large holes into the sandbanks, and to their surprise, they discovered layers of rocks beneath the surface of the bridge that seemed to have been placed by human hands. Bardrianirnan went on to describe why the findings were so fascinating by saying the following. Corals are found only on rocks and such hard surfaces. Here below the coral and boulders, we are getting loose sand, which means it is not natural. In simple terms, the coral could not have grown there on its own. It was clearly placed there by human hands, and with this, evidence that the bridge was man-made became increasingly apparent. Following this, Bardrian Narayan and his team discovered that the boulders which made up the bridge in ancient times were not sourced from the sea, but instead of somewhere inland. He went on to explain that in his expert opinion as a geologist, these boulders were spruced elsewhere and dumped here and used as a causeway. A later scientific study carried out by four American universities also brought forth some fascinating findings. Their studies concluded that the coral and stone which sits on top of the sandbank are, in fact, older than the sand. One scientist said the following, The sandbar may be natural, but what is sitting on top of it is not. The rocks on top of the sand actually predate the sand, so there is more to the story. These results suggest that the structure in the satellite image is not natural, but built by humans. So while the studies conducted by Bardrianainen and his team all about proved the bridge was certainly a man-made structure, it doesn't assert that it was, in fact, made by Rama and his Varana army, nor could we place an exact date of construction on the site, as rocks cannot be carbon dated. But regardless, the bridge is proof that ancient culture, seemingly mentioned in one of India's greatest texts, was able to build an astonishing structure across the ocean in our distant past. If we once again return to the Ramayana, it was a full section dedicated to the building of the bridge and mentions the various techniques used during the construction. It reads as follows. The huge-bodied monkeys with mighty strength uprooted elephant-sized rocks and mountains and transported them by mechanical contrivances. Some others drew U-strings a hundred eugenists, long in order to keep the rocks in a straight line. Some monkeys were holding poles for measuring the bridge and some others collected the material. Reeds and logs resembling clouds and mountains brought by hundreds of monkeys led by the command of Rama fastened some part of the bridge. 
The Nala, the strong and illustrious son of Vishwakarma, an excellent monkey, built the bridge across the sea as truly as his father would have built it. That beautiful and lovely bridge constructed by Nala across the ocean, the abode of alligators, shone brightly like a milky way of stars in the sky. This description matches very well with what we find at the site when investigations were done by Dr. Bardranarina and his team. So if we consider the evidence put forth by Dr. Bardanarina and his team, as well as the written evidence that has been recorded in the Ramana for centuries, it's clear that an advanced civilization once thrived in India. This same culture was able to collectively partake in megalithic and advanced structural engineering projects that allowed them to construct a bridge that ran from India to Sri Lanka in the distant past, long before such feats of construction were thought possible.